Hello, this is Excel, and welcome to my Shadow Priest UI Guide. This guide will cover how to properly set up add-ons so that they are most effective for you. In this part, we will be covering the area around the center of your screen. This is an important area for your UI. The closer you get to the middle of your screen, the more critical the information presented should be to your gameplay. This area is vital because it is where your attention will be focused most of the time. This area should be reserved exclusively for tracking important cooldowns, critical boss mod warnings, weak aura and pulse warnings, and resource tracking. The goal here is to use only as much information as you absolutely need and not anything else. When you're first learning a class, you'll find that you have more information here than you would for a class or spec you're familiar with. Over time, you can start to prune things as you use them less often. If you overburden this area with too much information, it's easy to get distracted and lose focus on what is going on around you. It's also very easy to put too much information here that you don't really use or need and just clutter it up taking focus away from the more important things. The most visible thing should be an indication of your insanity, normally in bar format. There's a weak aura bar that will be linked in the description you can use, or you can make a more simple bar such as this one with tell me when. So we'll start by opening up the tell me when options by typing slash tmw space options. This brings up a bar. Make sure you're in the group tab if it doesn't default you there. And then select new profile group. Alright, once you have that selected, we need this to be in bar format since we're using this for our insanity bar. We will go ahead and we will uncheck everything that is not DPS or shadow. And in the dimensions, we only want one row and one column. When we're done there, click OK. And then you can open up the uh, editing for the tell me when icons by typing slash w or tmw, sorry, slash tmw. And that'll bring up all your icons. So this is the new bar that we just created. You can drag it around. You can resize it with this little arrow in the corner any way you like. To edit what it does, <clears throat> just right click on it. And then it should bring you to the icon screen. If it doesn't, go to the icon. In the icon type, in the drop down, you'll go to resource display. And then it should default to the primary resource, but if it doesn't, select primary resource. After that, that's pretty much it. You're done. To get back to uh, the non editing option, just type slash tmw again. And now we are able to, uh, we have a bar that will easily help us track our insanity. Now, as long as you're out of combat, at any time you can change this bar. You can move it, you can resize it or whatever. If you don't like the way you initially set it up, just simply go back into the options by typing slash TMW. And then you can move it around, you can resize it, you can do whatever you want with it. Next should be cooldowns you need to track for spell priority. Things like Mind Blast, Void Bolt, Shadow Word, Death, and so on. As you become more familiar with the class, you may not need some of these. We'll start with Mind Blast. So type slash TMW and we'll open up that. You can right click on any Tell Me When icon to start the process to open up the options tab or you can just type slash tmw space options go to the group select from the drop down menu new profile group we'll keep this as an icon and again as before with the insanity bar we'll uncheck everything that's not shadow or dps so that it doesn't show now with the rows and the columns you can see that as you add more rows or columns it changes the layout of the buttons so you can have as many as you like. You can edit this after as well if you find you need to add more things on or if you want to take things away. So for now, we'll just do three. Click OK. And we will start by right clicking an icon. So any icon that you want to edit, just right click that specific icon. It should take you straight to the icon page. From the drop down, we're going to select spell cooldown. We'll type in Mind Blast here. You can select it from here and then just hit enter. All right. Down here, we have the opacity. So when it's ready to be used, it'll be fully lit up and the icon will look fully activated. 
And when it's not ready, let's set that to 50%. You can set this to whatever you want, whatever is more comfortable for you. But for me, 50%. Uh, over here, we want to show the timer. That's if it's on cooldown. Show the timer text. And then allow global cooldown allows us to see when the global cooldown pulse occurs. And that allows us to better time things. So once you're done that, click OK. Good to go slash tmw and you have a usable mind blast icon that you're able to use for tracking we will continue on going back into the options menu and uh, now as you can see we're back in the options area you can move this anywhere you'd like you can also resize it as as you would like and these icons are a group. If you want, you can make a separate group to track separate different types of cooldowns and stuff like that. So for the next one, we'll click, right click on this icon and use this for shadow or death. So once you learn how to do this, it's actually very fast, very easy. Shadow, word, death, and it suggests it up here. Hit enter. We'll do the same thing we did before. And just like that, we now have two things that we can use to track. Now for the third one, we'll use Void Bolt slash Void Eruption. Void Bolt and Void Eruption are considered the same spell. They Void Eruption morphs and, and gets tracked as Void Bolt. So we only need one icon for that. And it's slightly different, but not that much. So again, we will right click on this, go to the icon type, spell cooldown, what to track. Void Eruption is what we want to track. Hit enter once you've selected it from the right. And as before, we'll set the opacity to 50% for not ready. And because this works differently, we will want to also do a power check. And what the power check does is it also sets um, the setting so that if you can't use the ability because it requires a certain amount of power or you're not in the right form, it allows it to be faded just like it would if it's not ready. So. For example, if you don't have enough insanity to cast a Void Bolt, or you're not in Void Form, or Void Eruption, sorry, or you're not in Void Form. So for everything else, we'll be the exact same. And go out of the Options menu, and we're done. And as you can see, these, the, like Mind Blast, Shadow or Death, look like they're ready. Void Eruption does not. So what you need to do for Void Eruption to get it working is have enough insanity to use it. Once you have enough insanity, it lights up. You can cast Void Eruption. You can see it goes on cooldown and turns into Void Bolt. And now it functions the same way everything else does. For the last part of this, we'll do buffs. So again, open up your Tommy one with slash TMW. You can right click anything. Go to group. We'll make a new profile group, and same as before, make sure that this only shows up on our DPS spec, and we'll only do two for now. You obviously will want to track more things, but just for now, just to show you how it works, you can. we'll just do two. So we'll right click on the first icon, should bring us to the icon page, and we'll track void form stacks. So we'll go to buff debuff void form and just like that done very very easy especially in this program or in this add-on sorry the next one will be just a little bit different but not that much again so let's track power infusion we'll go to buff debuff type in power infusion select it when we see it hit enter now for this, it's important to know the exact timer, it's like timings and stuff on it. So we'll want a timer for that. So we'll just show the timer and we'll show the timer text. And we are done here. Very simple. So now they are, we didn't set a hidden option on them so that we don't see them when we don't need to for these ones, because we won't be using the cool or the buffs as much. So in order to see the void form, 
from the stack tracking, you'll notice that it only appears when we actually hit Void Farm and actually have the buff. Power Infusion, same thing. It only appears when we have the buff. Nice and simple, when you drop out of Void Form, or when Power Infusion ends, it goes away. Power Infusion, because we set the timer, it also has a very nice little timer here. Same as before, you can edit, move these around any way you like, put them wherever you want. And that's it for this section. So, um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments on this video, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below.